Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Caitlin. Big, big welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you've been around a while, well, you kind of know what you're getting into. <laughs> so today we are looking at different sewing subscription boxes and to narrow it down a bit, I did decide to just focus on companies that are offering patterns and fabrics. So you get the whole kit, everything you need to sew like right now. I'm going to go through each one and what they are, kind of what they offer, and then what I like and dislike about each one. And I think at the end, I'm going to tell you which one I would choose or what the best options are for me. Now there are a lot of quilting subscription packs for some reason, I don't know, quilting just seems to be like this massive thing that there is and uh, I didn't include any of those, number one, because I am not a quilter and number two, because there's just too many and I wanted to focus on garment sewing. So that's what we're doing. If one that I'm discussing isn't really for you or if you're looking for an overview of one specific company, I will have everything timestamped so at the, when you, hold your cursor over or use your thumb and drag the video time scale over, it'll show different, the different timestamps and where they start and end. There should be like little segments there. So you can just skip ahead to whatever you wanna see. And if you do end up really liking this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button so I know that and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on a future video where I'm going to be going through sewing clubs. It's a bit different. So stay tuned. All right, let's jump right in with number one. It is called Grow and Sew. This is a UK based company and they specifically cater to children and specifically to tiny, tiny children, like zero to three months. Specifically for their garment patterns, they range from 29.95 Great British Pound to 39.95. And I'm gonna equate everything to Canadian dollar because that's what's easiest for me. So that means 49.72 up to 66.32. Now they say that this price includes shipping. I'm assuming that means in the UK. It does say they will ship worldwide. However, you have to message them first to get a quote or an estimate on how much that's going to cost you. And then, I mean, you can decide if it's worth it or not. So from what I can see on their website, they have a handful of garment sewing patterns, and then they do have some other housewares and baby knit caps and things like that as well. Their sewing patterns are only for zero to three months babies, and they do have one pattern that's zero to 18 months. And for each of their patterns, you get to choose a fabric color scheme. So you don't actually get to choose your own fabric, but there's three different options of color scheme. There is an earthy tones, there is their sew and grow classic colors, which it doesn't say what those are, and then there is also a pastels color. Each of their kits include the pattern, which all of their patterns are made in-house. It also includes fabric, like I said, you get to choose kind of the color scheme and then it'll send that. And it also includes a pre-wound bobbin, which I thought was kind of strange. It's not something you see almost ever. And I think it's, it's a good idea in theory, but every sewing machine, not every sewing machine, but sewing machines use different types of bobbins and there's dozens of different types of bobbins. So I'm not really sure that that's very practical. And another quick thing to touch on about their fabric is they are all their printed fabric, so their, their florals or their polka dots or whatever prints they have, those are custom designed fabrics and then they're printed in the UK. So I'm assuming that means kind of like how we have here in Canada and the US with custom prints, custom shops. So I have not used these, I do not know the quality. I have used several other custom fabric shops prior to this in Canada, and I find that the quality can really vary. So just keep that in mind when you're ordering. So what I really like about this company is that they offer different color schemes or color families to choose from, and then that way you kind of know what you're in for, and it helps it to still be a surprise, but also not so much of a surprise that it's something that you're probably not going to like. I also like that they don't include fluff in any of their kits, it's just exactly what you need to make the pattern and that's it. There's no extra bits and bobs that are just gonna be left to sit on your countertop and collect dust. And the only real downside for me would be their tiny, tiny size range. They, you only get one size range for their garment patterns other than that dress pattern. So you can really only make that for one size of child and when your child outgrows that, well, then you have this pattern that you can't really use anymore unless you use it for other children. 
Little Miss So-and-So. This is another UK-based company, and their boxes are 55 pounds, which equates to $91.30 Canadian. And they have free shipping on orders over 50 pounds, which these boxes would fit into. The one they have now is a six month uh, subscription, I guess. It's kind of a unique thing. So they've partnered with a designer and the designer's brand is called Size Me. And so over the six months you get each month one of the different patterns and the fabrics and everything to go with it. You also get a uh, so long and access to a Facebook group which includes the designer so you can have access to her to talk to her and discuss any questions concerns you might be having. They also have sewing kits so this is a little bit different than the subscription box they have quite a actually quite a selection to choose from and they're everything you need so pattern and fabrics to sew up a certain item and they also have ones of like a, a three pack of patterns so you would save instead of being $20 each for $60 you would they might be like $47 or something like that. So I do like that page actually more than their subscription option. And those range from $91.22 to $124.42. So I really do like all the support that's given through the subscription with the designer and everything that is really unique. And I like that they have the past kits available. However, I don't like that you're signing on for six months of the same pattern company. To me, I don't like that because what if those, what if her style isn't my style? What if her block or her sizing doesn't, doesn't fit me at all and I have to do all these adjustments? I just, I'm just not a fan of that. I can't get on board with that. They do charge more for the larger sizes. So I guess that just equates to how much fabric you get. And speaking of fabric, they have a ton of options. They are pretty much a fabric shop. So you can go and choose which type of fabric you want and then you can pick your exact fabric that you want, which I love because then you can pick ones that go with your color palette or if you want a solid instead of a print, there's a lot of different things you can choose from and you can really customize it to be exactly what you want. And their website is a little bit clumsy to get around, but I think once you find your way and figure it all out, there are a lot of options and choices. Is that the same thing? <laughs> They are offering a lot on their website. Okay, moving along. So Haley Jane, this is one that I've heard about for ages and have not purchased, but I mean, it's on my list for one day, right? Their boxes range from $33.20 all the way up to $107.90 Canadian. So this is another UK brand. And the reason that their price is so wide ranging is because of their three different options. The first one is their mini box. And this is very mini. You get three fat quarters of quilting cotton. You get one meter of fabric, a sewing magazine, and a couple little notions. Their middle box is the classic box. And this one you get two and a half meters of dressmaking fabric. So that's quite a bit to make a substantial garment. You also get four fat quarters for if you want to use for, you know, pocket linings or whatever on top of the magazine and the notions and a little gift. And then their luxury box is obviously the most expensive. You get three and a half meters of dressmaking fabric and five fat quarters on top of the, the magazine, the notions and the gift. And you get a pattern from an indie pattern designer. So this one, you can make an actual garment from everything in the kit. And this one is still available. There's still time to sign up at time of the video going live for the April box. It's nice that you get most of March to sign up for the April box. However, I don't believe you get to choose your fabric. So that would be one downside of choosing So Haley Jane. It makes it a really big surprise, but you might not like the fabric at all. I also don't really like that there's so many trinkets, so many little bits and bobs. And that's not really my thing. I'm not, I'm not one to have a lot of um, knickknacks. Well, sewing like tools that are for specific things. I like to have a couple things and that's about it. Um, so to have all these extra things, I think is really good for beginner sewists. But for those of us who have been collecting things for quite a while, probably just ends up becoming clutter. And they do only have the one option with patterns. So that is also kind of a downside I guess but I do like that they have the options and then having fat quarters in the bundles also not really appealing to me. 
I do like that she chooses kind of a theme for the month and th they're really cute themes. There was like a bumblebee one she had, um, there's like cozy themes. She does a really good job of picking that all-encompassing idea. Now we're moving into two American companies, the first one being Indie Stitch. And their options range from 83.43 to 97.10 Canadian. Now Indie Stitch is a subscription, uh, like a true subscription. So you sign up for one month or six months or 12 months. And the longer you sign up for, the less it costs you per month. However, you are committed to that subscription. So they don't like you canceling in that period. I'm assuming you pay upfront for all of those and they come out every month. They only have one option for boxes. So if you sign up for one month at a time, it costs you $83.43. If you sign up for six months, it'll end up costing you $90.27 per month. And if you sign up for 12 months, it'll cost you $97.10. Shipping is on top of that and it costs $12.31 within USA, Canadian dollars, and $24.62 in, for Canada shipping. So along with your fabric, you also get your printed PDF pattern, and this is uh, AO file since it's an independent designer. You also get the digital copy immediately. So if you don't wanna use their fabric or you wanna do a test garment, you can get that file immediately, project it onto your fabric, cut it out, sew it up, or print it out obviously. So that's kind of a bonus, and I don't see that in any of the other companies. That's probably my favorite thing about Indie Stitch. You also get a sew along. So this is something that the owner of the company has recorded herself and makes a sew along for you to follow. Unfortunately, I don't really like that there's only one option to choose from. I know it makes it simple and it is what it is and you get it and you be happy with it, but I am a girl who likes some options. And another box that sends out some extra gifts and trinkets. Finally, we're gonna talk about Needle Sharp. And I left Needle Sharp to last because I think they're the most mm, established, I would say. They have the best website. They I've ordered from them before. I actually did a giveaway with Mary with, from Needle Sharp. And I've just really enjoyed the entire experience. So with Needle Sharp, there are essentially four different options to choose from, and they range from $102.57 Canadian up to $184.63. Now those four different options from lowest cost to highest are so essentials, so select, so curvy, and so indulgent. And that so indulgent one, you sometimes get two patterns. So I'm sure she just takes, you know, the costs and she figures it out and sometimes there's a little bit of extra money so you get two patterns and two cuts of fabric. Now within each of those four categories, you get two different options for your pattern. So you can go with a new pattern, maybe something that's new to the industry or just new to uh, a new pattern designer to Needle Sharp or new to you or whatever that may be. And then you also have the option to choose a tried and true pattern, something that has been around for a long time. With Needle Sharp, you have to order by the 15th of the month to get the following month. So I'm putting this video out on March 16th. So yesterday, you would have had to order by to get the April box. So now we're into the May box. So you can go on there. I'm not sure when it gets released, if it's released already or if it takes a little while. And you can go in there and you can choose your patterns. So I'm gonna talk about the April box because that's what is live right now when I'm filming this. All of the new patterns were kind of like a flowy, maybe tiered dress or shirt. And then the tried and true was all overalls. So she kind of sticks to the same theme, regardless of which tier you want to purchase. Once you choose your pattern, then you get to choose your fabric. And there's three options to choose from there. Sometimes um, you might not like any of them. And in that case, you can skip a month or you can maybe choose a different box. I am not exactly sure if that works well with like an ongoing subscription. You can also choose to omit the pattern that's in the kit and just get the fabric. That is an option. Also on their website, you can purchase past kits um, or they're just sold as bundles and there's tons of different ones on there as well. And when you do subscribe, you also get 10% off store-wide. So they do sell fabric and patterns and you can get that all 10% off if you're a member. So I don't think it's any surprise, Needle Sharp would be my favorite. I really like how many options there are. The downside is the cost. They are the most expensive. I would hope you get a little bit higher quality fabrics and maybe some nicer patterns. 
So from all those overviews, I think you should be able to determine which you would like best. The only one catering to kids is Sew and Grow. Uh, like I said, it's that tiny, tiny size range. So maybe if you're expecting a new baby, that would be fun for you to have. If you are really into garment sewing, I would say it would be between Sew Haley Jane, Indie Stitch, and Needle Sharp. And I would say it probably is just gonna be based on budget and what you think of the patterns that those individual companies choose. Personally, I think I would probably go with Needle Sharp again. I just really did enjoy the kits that I have used from them. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear which boxes you have tried before or what you're likely to try in the future. So drop me a comment down below and let me know that. And again, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button so I know that you want to see more of this type of content. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see future content that comes out. Next week is a really good one. It's my turn for So Frugal, so that's going to be exciting. And then coming up is also going to be a similar video to this, but with sewing clubs. And I mean, we got my spring wardrobe to talk about. We're doing all things spring <laughs> sewing. I'm working on a pair of jeans, believe it or not. It's actually happening. And I have a couple other things to show you that we've made in March. So. Lots going on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And I'll catch you there. Thanks again. Bye.